Hello dragons. Hello. My name's Verity, I'm a midwife at the Penrice Birth Centre. I'm here to bid for a film that will describe our maternity services in image, voice, uh, subtitles and British Sign Language. Mm. So to make it as accessible to as many parents as possible. If you can click that one, it should go. There we go. So all the things you'll see on the PowerPoint, I'd like to include in that film. The idea for the film came from working with a deaf couple in London through two pregnancies. Neither of them had English as a first language and they wanted British Sign Language interpretation. And it's only through working with them that I realised how much information they were missing because they didn't even know to ask for it. So the second part of my presentation is a demo film that I had made in London by a deaf filmmaker and the lady in it is one of her f his family members and we just put together some questions to ask her what it was like. So we're just going to show you a few minutes of that at the end of this. Okay? And the premise for the whole thing is that all parents should have the same access to good quality information about pregnancy, birth and postnatal care. And I know this is an awful lot, but these are really important aspects of the maternity care. And if we can give people a bit of a heads up before they even book their pregnancy, so then they know what to ask about, what they're worried about, what they need to chat to their family and friends about. So it just makes their journey an awful lot easier and it makes our job a lot easier. So you can see there's an awful lot going on. The more we look into maternity care, the more risk factors we come up with. So the more monitoring we do. And of course, as it gets refined, the service gets more complex. And it just means there's more and more to ask about for these women in their antenatal appointments. I've also come across um, a case recently where the lady was hearing and the partner was deaf and he was not allowed a BSL interpreter because he wasn't the patient. So it's again to allow the whole family to have access to the right information at the right time. Okay. Well, I'm hoping this will go. Can we click it on a little bit faster? Thank you. The film you're going to see hasn't got a voiceover. The film I'd like to make will have voiceover as well. So it's for deaf, blind, learning disabled and people who don't speak or write English. So if we can just play the film. <laughs> this film was made by a deaf filmmaker in London and I've been told by my research for this project that I must have a deaf person signing, not a, mm -hmm. somebody who's learned British Sign Language. And if you, s if you had my quotes, you'll see how very expensive it is to make a film like this. Yes, that's the end of the film, I think. Okay, thank you. Thank well you. done. Thank you.
Professor Verity, you said that you're from um, Penrice, mm -hmm. but presumably, how, how far a reach could this <coughs> film have? Well, I think it should be national. Right. It, every trust should have it on their website so people can access it easily. Um, the London Trust I work for were not interested enough to take it on and right. give me money for it. Um, I had that film made to make a bid for £500 for <coughs> them, which would then have been used for fundraising. Sure. But if it works, which of course it will, um, it should be shared with all trusts, I think. So presumably there's an opportunity that it becomes a, a national project because of, from what I'm seeing of the sorts of film, the example, it's about generic great advice as be, yeah. opposed to geographically exactly. specific. Yeah. And because of the, um, the price constraints, what we would have to give would be very, it'd be very fundamental information because it does take an awful lot of time and money to um, make these films. So in essence, I'd like to do one that's basic, which would be sort of part one. And then if it was taken up by a different trust, they could make their own, that specify you know, what their own trusts offer. And we could go on then into the alternative therapies and all the other things that we involve as well. But we need the solid basic information first. Okay. Booking appointments, antenatal care, pain relief, those sort of things, breastfeeding support. Yeah. Do I know, do you know what percentage of the population we're looking at and the reach that there would be, Verity? Um, I don't in Cornwall, don't. no. We did have several deaf families in London that we were caring for. That was just in Hackney. I know of um, one midwife at Penrice who has a deaf client. Um, I know there were quite a lot of BSL interpreters in Cornwall, so there must be quite a few families here. Um, the deaf filmmaker who's played this quote is in Swindon. Uh, that's the closest I could get for a, a deaf film company. Thank you. Are we talking about £3,000 per film, so per, per film per area? What they've quoted for eight minutes of film is £3,000. So that would be, that's why it would be the basics. Um, and that's why if we can cover all the basics, which would suit everyone, that would be great. And then other films obviously would be another 3,000, another 3,000 or more. I could probably spend at least 20,000 on it if I really wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Do you think there's any opportunity for us to work with other charities out there who might support? I would hope so, people yes. To, to, to do several films. That would be amazing. If, if they do or reach other to trusts. Everybody, yeah, yeah. It seems to yeah. make sense to do a very generic film which mm. can be used, you know, several generic films. It, it is there nothing country. already out there from any of the, for example, deaf charities and that kind of thing? I found one DVD, which was actually made by this um, Drip yeah. Media. Right. Um, but I, I sent off for it to see what's on it, sure. and I haven't received it yet. That was okay. weeks ago. So accessibility is poor for whatever reason. Right. Right. Uh, and that's, as far as I know, there's only one. Right. I've asked a lot of people about this. There's a company called Deaf Nest, which was, um, I've heard of through the Royal College of Midwives, mm -hmm. which was a prize-winning project by a student who made this environment for deaf parents. But that also is quite limited, and the films they've made cover alternative therapies, right. whereas I want something that covers the, the basics, what to expect from the appointments, what about pain relief, what's it like, when do you know when you're, how do you know you're in labour, those sort of things, mm. before we get to the more additional yeah. uh, services. That's amazing. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel it went? Uh, quite well actually, it was um, a lot smaller and more friendly than I expected. Okay, and how were the dragons too? Very nice, yeah. very understanding. Fantastic, did you get any feedback from them when you were in there? Uh, yes, yeah, so what they suggested was it might be something that um, different charities might group together to do, because £3,000 would do a very basic film, mm -hmm. like a part one, so maybe if it went to more charities we could get more money, mm -hmm. because it should really be a national thing. Fantastic. Well, fingers crossed for you and well done. Thank you.